Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardwell's Cauldron. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And here on this Geektopia Island, we have a cool, fun, actually, Golgari deck in here. It's different. It's not the whole, you know, same old Veraskas here and there, Carnage Tyrant. Right now, we're, we're going to try something different. But before we do, I'd like to go ahead and remind y'all that we did start a Patreon. And if you would like to support us in any way, uh, the link will be down below. And then and we'll thank you from the bottom of our hearts and For hug sure. you if we can, if we see you in person one day. Yeah. Well, with that, let's get into it. Now, the weakest part of this whole deck is the name, I think. But I like it. <laughs> it's called No Leftovers. And it has to deal because we're just getting rid of the graveyard as well. We're playing dudes. We're putting dudes in the graveyards. We're eating our own dudes up. Because the first card we're going to talk about is Desecrated Tomb. That's a cute little fun artifact here. It's a three drop. Whenever one or more creature cards leave the graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one black bat creature token with flying. Now, someone reminded me of this card and it took me like about two weeks or so to actually create a deck. And I think this is where we are. I like it. It's not too bad. It's like the best dredge card that's not being played in dredge because it's slow right now yeah it, it seems like it would be really good uh but to help fuel the desecrated tomb yep is our boy stitcher supplier yep this dude's just real good for any kind of graveyard shenanigans so one black for a one one zombie when he comes into the battlefield or dies put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard it's just a fun silly one drop he, he's so good yeah he's pretty good he's actually like three bucks right now it's insane and I don't, I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> yeah. But to also help with the graveyard is a graveyard marshal. Two black, <clears throat> three, two. He's a zombie soldier. Pay three, so a black and two. Exile creature card from your graveyard. Then create a tap two, two black zombie creature token. And with That's tomb, it. you get a, two, a one, one bad as well. Yeah, exactly. That's three power for three mana. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. And the star, also the star creature of the deck that I've really been wanting to play is Charnel Troll. It's kind of a very terrible creature, but we're going <laughs> to go with it. One black, green. 4-4 four, four, trample. That's why I love it. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile a creature card from the graveyard. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. If you don't, sacrifice it. So, you know, it's high risk, high reward. But before the upkeep trigger, you can pay two. One black, one green. Discard a creature card, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Charnel Troll. Now, Lotlith Troll is one of my favorite creature cards ever made. And they're trying to recreate it. Here. Yeah, but not as broken not, as not, Lotlith Troll. Yeah, not as broken. No regenerate here yeah. for one green. But, I don't know. This dude does pretty good, though. He does. You have, a, you have enough ways to get dudes in the yard with Stitcher Supplier and a couple other ones. And it allows for you to get more value out of Desecrated Tomb. Because when you remove a dude with this, you get a counter on him and you get a 1-1 one -one bet. Exactly. And if he lands for one turn, that's 6 damage swinging. Yeah. Potentially. Like, if you discard one and do it. Or a 5-5. Five -five. Swinging on turn four. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Dude's pretty solid. I think, yeah, I think he's real good. Uh, another dude we have that helps out with Desecrated Tomb is Death Gorge Scavenger. Yep. So a green and two, when it enters the battlefield or attacks, you may exile a target card from a graveyard. If a creature card is exiled this way, you gain two life. If a non-creature card is exiled this way, you put a, it gets one, it gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Yep. But sadly, no counter, no scavenging is here. But... People use a sideboard, but here it's perfect main board, just to help out. Now, Isrith, the Awakener, also another card I can't wait to use next set. One red, red, three, three, death touch. So that's good. That's not too bad. I think you mean one black, black. Oh, sorry, one black, black. I said green, green. You British. said red, red. Oh, you went See, through all the I, colors. I'm You're waiting, just so ready for the I'm next set. I'm waiting for the next set <laughs> to play Rakdos and all the mix. But, yeah. anyways, I digress. Uh, whenever it attacks, you pay X. When you do, a return target creature with converted mana cost X from the graveyard to the battlefield. It gets a corpse counter. If it dies, exile it instead of putting it in the graveyard. But it brings something back. And Desecrated Tomb says whenever it leaves graveyard, it doesn't matter how. If it goes back to your hand or on the field, it just leaves graveyard, you get a 1-1. One -one. So eh, it kind of helps out there. Uh, another way to help get your graveyard full is Jade Light Rangers. So two green and one. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you explore, and then it explores again. Yeah. And, I mean, Jade Light's just super good. Extremely good. I actually was hesitant to put her in the deck because she literally takes... I have two of them. Takes up half the cost of this deck. <laughs> They're like $25 each, and it's ridiculous. So 
you can literally take her out and the deck is a lot cheaper just for it. <laughs> yeah. And because we're doing a lot of graveyard recursion, mess with Playcrafter, one of the strongest dudes. I've been playing on Arena against this guy and with it, and it's amazing. So two and one, three, two, and here's the battlefield. Each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, and if they can't, remember this. They discard a card. That dude's so good. I keep forgetting that discard a card part. So if you, they, they have one or two cards in hand, you're just like, whatever, play it. Don't care. There, you lose no value playing this guy. Yeah, he's so good. Yeah. He does so much for you. One of my favorites of Standard right now is the, the little doggo. Yep. You know, the Ravenous Chupacabra. Two black and two for two two. When it enters the battlefield, destroy target creature and opponent controls. It's a mythic uncommon. It does what it wants. Um, you have 28 creatures in this deck. <laughs> yeah. There's barely any spells. And that's why your creatures kill their creatures. Yeah, and I mean, it's just it's just a good doggo. I yeah. mean, it's a good old boy. He does his job. Yeah, he does his job real well. Also, another card I've always been excited to use is Underrealm Lich. It's three black, green, four, three, zombie, sh elf, shaman. <laughs> if you would draw a card, instead look at the top three cards of your deck. You choose one, put them in your hand, and the rest go in the graveyard. So that fuels your graveyard for stuff. You can pay four life, it gains indestructible on the turn, tap it. Regenerate. But dude is awesome. The dude is extremely good. You can never mill out with this guy because he, he's a replacement effect as long as he's alive. And I don't. I just want to use him. Mm -hmm. Just to fuel the deck. Just to go off with him. You know? It's insane. Uh, next up is a split card. Find and Finality. Yep. And it is return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. So you get two little bats. Yep. Or no, you or get you one, get bat, one bat, sorry, because it's but one or more. You still get two dudes and a bat on the field. Yeah, Same. and then finality is six, black, green, and four. You may put two one one counters on each, on a creature you control, then all creatures get minus four, minus four until the end of turn. Yeah. It's just extremely strong, and I hate playing against a stupid card. Every time I see it play, I'm like, oh, yep, there we go. There's a wild growth rocker and a J-Light <laughs> Ranger. I'm dead. <laughs> like, it's just insane value what this card can do. Mm -hmm. And if you need to, board white, which most of all your creatures can do it. Can yeah. survive. Yeah, pretty good. And the next card, the Eldest Reborn. It's a saga. It's black. You play it. <laughs> like, to be able to kill their planeswalkers with it and then get it back two turns later is insane. But, so first chapter. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Helps against a fairy. Each opponent discards a card next chapter. And the last one, put a target creature or planeswalker from the graveyard into the field. Theirs or yours. Yeah, it, it's it's good because it targets anywhere. It doesn't yeah. care what it is. It's insane value. It's just too damn good not to use. And if you get there to fairy, you get awesome. You win. Or their rel. Or, yeah, we'll wait until next set, see what other planeswalkers come. Yeah. But it's just good. Yeah. The lands are pretty simple. They're, yeah. they're, I mean, it's black green, so it's kind of straightforward. Exactly. Uh, we're playing some forests, you know. You got to. Yeah. You got the swamps. They're easy. But the special lands, you got overgrown tombs. Of four course. of them. And four woodland cemeteries, which is the blue, the black green buddy land. And then we have two special memorial to folly, which is the uh, the black land that comes into play tapped. You add a black where you can pay black and two. Sacrifice it, return to our creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Which triggers the tomb. So, you know. It's just more special, special land after that. Yeah, I mean, that's really about all we need. Right. With that, and that, that is the total 60 there. Uh, we've been doing more of, like, honorable mentions. Because Cyborg could be just literally throw 15 kill in it and you're good. Yeah, it's Cyborg is what you need it to be. But these honorable mentions are cards that can be in main board or not. we got to test it out and see. And the first one is Drive Green Seeker. One in the green, one three, tap, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, put it in your hand. Reveal it and then put it in your hand. Yeah. Of course. It's just good against aggro and maybe late game against control. Who knows? Yeah, because it helps. The reason Filter. is because it filters you from what you're drawing so you don't just get stuck with a land. Yeah. And it just it gives you more, more ramp up. Uh, next up is really great against control. And it just it does a lot for you. It's oh. Kite Cell Freebooter. Oh, yeah. Uh, two for a 1-2 flyer, and when you use the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-creature card, non-land card from it, exile that card until Freebooter leaves the battlefield. Yep. I like getting their most important spell, and then they have to kill it to get it back, and it slows them down a turn. Mm -hmm. Now, next one, Cruel Harpooner. One in a green, 3-2 with a reach. 
It has undead growth because you're going to have a lot of creatures. Uh, it comes into play, it gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, and it fights a dude with flying. So this is against Boros, pretty much. Get rid of the angels as fast as possible for two mana. And if you play this dude in any kind of like sealed or limited event, this dude is insane. Yeah, powerful. he is insane. And, I, I love him. And don't forget, he just has reach on his own, too. Yeah. Like, I always forget that part for some reason. Uh, next up is Mausoleum Secrets. It's two mana instant yeah. undergrowth. Search your library for a black card with convert mana cost X or less than or equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Reveal it, put it in your hand. Yeah. So it is It is only towards like a black card that you can get, but that's okay. Like yeah. You still have a lot of good choices in this deck, so it's really not a big deal. And it's instant speed. So end of turn, hopefully you got it. Go get a play, play crafter or lich or eldest reborn, you know, or find finality. Like yeah. if you just need a board wipe. Yeah. It's just good. <laughs> Now, of course, since we don't have white in the deck, I just threw in Reclamation Sage, as Honorable mentioned, because it does the same thing as Knight of Autumn. Yeah. Uh, two green, two one, and there's a battlefield, destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. Yeah, dude's, dude's good. Conclave Tribunal is a beast. <laughs> yeah. And the final Honorable mention of the deck is Gruesome Menagerie, yep. and it is two or two black and three. For a sorcery, choose a creature card with curve of a man to cost one, two, and three, and bring them all back to the graveyard, from the graveyard to the battlefield. Yep. And you can trigger all three of those, so. Yeah, you have all the abilities too, but I mean, it just, the power level of that is pretty, pretty good, just because yeah. you're going to get, you're going to get a bat. Yep. And then you're going to be able to get a graveyard marshal, a stitcher supplier, and a plate crafter. Yeah. Or a troll. Or, or troll. Like, just, or just any number of dudes. Yeah. It just, it's so good uh, how you, how, how much value that dude can get. Yeah. So that, that would definitely be for against control matchups and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. With that, that that is the total. And I thought it was going to be a silly deck, but it actually looks super solid. Black green in general is just a tight really color good right now. Yeah, it's really, really good. Especially with fine finality, blowing yeah. everyone out of the water. And with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Bye. Goodbye. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all of our future content, make sure you tap that bell. And go ahead and check us out on our streams. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, and thank you for staying here on the island. Later, guys. Bye.